How would we value time? Well, we'd look at a watch or we'd look at a calendar. How would you value quality of life? That's not quite so simple. I'm Ted Ganyitz. I'm faculty in the master's degree program in clinical research here at UCSD. I'm a family physician who is also the executive director of the UCSD Health Services Research Center. Give me some outcomes. What are some of the outcomes that could occur in a decision analysis? I teach two courses in the program, one of the core courses and one elective. The core course is an overview to health services research, qualitative research, costs, quality of life, topics that aren't usually covered in the other courses. If this is a risky situation, I might call that 50% chance of winning $100 be only worth $30. I have a course on decision analysis, which is an elective for those who need more statistical credit. And then I also give one course on quality and outcomes. This curve is situation dependent as well as individual dependent. I could measure it on each of you. It would be different for each of you. And then for any one of you, I could give you different scenarios and it would change by scenario. We have students who are pre-med or pre-vet we have students who already have a bachelor's degree and are interested in a master's degree. Some students have been working in industry, want to promote their career. Some students are already faculty, have done work in a clinical area, and they're interested in doing more research. Others in basic science, and they're interested in doing clinical research. There are networking opportunities at multiple levels. The students come from a variety of backgrounds, and so you have this opportunity to automatically be making connections. So here we have Peter. This is his quality of life. To see the students getting excited about their independent study project is obviously contagious. Uh, I certainly have an interest in clinical and translational research and I enjoy uh, being able to uh, work with students on their project or to be able to impart some of my enthusiasm for those topics. You'll frequently see a cost-effectiveness analysis that looks at the dollars per single digit changed on the Dartmouth pain scale. Well, that doesn't make any sense because to go from 10 to 9 may not be the same as going from two to one. The career opportunities for the graduates are almost as diverse as the students coming in. Alumni in industry run clinical trials, develop clinical protocols, developing the scientific endeavors within industry. Students who have their MD or go on to get their MD have a career devoted in part to clinical research. Figure out that number from the data in table one. The faculty really do care. One of the things I enjoy most about the program is contact that I have with alumni after they've graduated. But you're going to have to give me some time. You're going to trade time, time trade-off. All in all, this is just a fantastic program. You get to be in San Diego. Most of the students continue to work while they're here. And the faculty have a tremendous breadth and a tremendous amount of interests and the field is growing. So I think it's just a win, win, win.